Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, and today we're going to be going over how to get the exotic trace rifle, Agger Scepter. Follow along. First order of business, this is the final week of the Wayfinder's Voyage questline, so if you haven't done that, make sure you do, because that's how you're going to be able to get the weapon. I'm going to show you to start off where the last five astral skews are located in the Dreaming City. First, head to the gardens of Asila and find the Taken Portal at the top of the gazebo. Once inside the Taken Portal, the first Atlas SKU should be directly in front of you. From this point, you're going to take a right, head down the hallway, another right towards the tree directly in front of you. Once there, if you don't see the Atlas SKU, go forward past the tree and then come back into the room, it should spawn for you. Once you have this atlas skew, go past the tree like you did to make it spawn, and once you reach the large circular room, you're going to take a left and head straight to a room with a giant crystal inside of it. Once in the room, pick up the atlas skew in front of the crystal and come back the way you came, and just go straight until you reach the portal to the shattered throne where the next and fourth atlas skew should be sitting. Once you've acquired the fourth atlas skew, head back to the circular room where you're going to take a right, head past the room with the giant statue, and then down to another statue and the atlas skew should be at its feet, and you've completed this step in the quest. Once you've acquired this final atlas skew, a new mission objective will pop up for you to go to the Hollow Coronation and deposit the skews. Once through the portal, deposit the Atlas Skews, and there you will hear the end of the story of Agra and Reyna from Aldrin Sov's point of view. Once the story ends, head through the portal, and there you'll see it, Agar's Scepter. However, you can't reach it, and Marasov will come over the radio telling you that there's a force field protecting it, and then you'll have to go and talk to her.
From this point, Mara gives you a mission with multiple objectives. I recommend doing these in Astral Alignment as you can bang out your weekly. And the mission itself at the second point does require you to do things in Astral Alignment. Once you've completed all of the astral alignment objectives, you then have to do three strikes. The Glassway, the Disgraced, and the Lake of Shadows. Upon completing each strike, you'll get something called a Strand of Nobility. This is to show you that you completed the quest step, and then you can continue on to the next strike. Speak to Mara once again, and she will give you a Noble Seal. From here, head back to the cave, and Agar's Scepter will be yours. The weapon itself looks incredible and the intrinsic perk is great. It allows you to send out a wave of stasis that freezes nearby enemies when you kill someone. However, I will be docking points and I gotta give this weapon about a 7 out of 10 because it uses special ammo, which draws back a little bit and doesn't allow you to use it as much. However, don't get comfortable because you're going to be able to use the weapon right away and see for yourself. The following footage is of the weapon in use. Side note, all of those rock walls that you see in the Ascendant Plane, you can now crack open with this weapon.
This has been my review of Agar Scepter. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And I hope you guys will be back for the next one. Have a great day.